Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 929-2019, another 999 portal activation day. With these new moon, the new super moon energies coming in, many great transformations happening yesterday as I connected to two divine goddesses in the divine 44. I saw very impressive transformations, the Divine Goddess transforming into the Sacred Lotus, very impressive and auspicious. As I connect with each of the Divine 44 and go on the journey together to the Divine, power is growing through the team, power is expanding, which we will transmit our highest codes, our highest love, our highest light to this community to all light workers, all star seeds, all love workers in this realm, in all timelines, in all dimensions, as we uplift all life, all humanity together on this final mission of ascension, of manifesting heaven on earth. We are bringing the Trinity together into the middle, through the heart center, through the still white magnetic light that the center is a zero point energy. As we man manifest heaven on earth, for all humanity, all life. Today's transmission from Pars Kute, Timeline of Change, Energy Update. There are many temporary timelines jumping around, and there is one solid timeline that we are moving along steadily at this point. The temporary timelines are those timelines of change that is happening, but the time is not yet settled. And the main timeline is the timeline of change, for it is inevitable now that we are moving forward rapidly with significant changes. So the smaller timelines are offshoots of the larger, more steady timeline of change. There are releases of information and this release releases belong to minor timelines as these dates are somewhat fluid and can still change within a couple of months. In other words, there is a variable of several months of time which various information is planned to be released and it could be changed by up to several months. This steady timeline regarding change on our planet Earth has much to do with what is happening in our financial systems and in our government systems. And of course, you know, these are deeply entrenched and interrelated. There is also much disclosure regarding what has been hiding in our financial and government systems. And again, this information is hiding to most. And for some of you, this is no surprise. We'll be seeing a bit more in our mainstream news media revelations about what has been going on behind the scenes. Within our equinox, what occurred and will be occurring is a collapsing timelines of timelines, meaning that there is a plan, a great blast of light coming to our planet to assist in smoothing out the timelines and stabilizing the energies while also flushing out shadow forces and shadow energies. Some of us will feel this at an intense time. Some of us will feel these energies very intensely. Those of you who have been addressing your shadow will feel a great boost. You may feel more energized. You may feel more strength. And those of you who have been avoiding your shadow may feel some discomfort, for this will be a great amount of light indeed. But the function of this light will be to serve in lessening the chaos of the timeline energies described. This minor timelines have been jumping around will come into greater resonance with the main timeline. This blast of light is a significant wave that is coming directly from central sun as well as many galactic sources, and it is benevolent in nature. It is meant to serve and to help. It is meant to calm the chaotic timelines. Some, so in some levels it will feel good and even calming the nervous system, and on the other levels it may feel jolting again, as if you resisted addressing anything in your life that needs to be addressed. Those things that need to be addressed will become larger to gain your intention. After the equinox spike of energy, there will be a period of rearranging, a period of time to, for rewiring your brain, your nervous system to change the way you think, to release any thought patterns to do, that do not serve your highest and greatest good of all. And the energies will be assisting for this type of process of realigning to more of your truth to more of your soul and to more of your higher self and sacred love and unity pars kute so now for uh, the new moon on september 28th a super moon and which brings the balancing forces of libra 
Libra is controlling the new moon heading our way, and with that we're all going to finally be feeling as if we are settling down and getting comfortable. The energies that we have been facing in current times have had us on the edge for a while, and as we allow them to exit our lives, things are slowly starting to calm down. This new moon in Libra at 5 degrees will offer us a sense of good fortune. We will be enjoying ourselves and breaking free from any negative energies that have been holding us back. While new moons are usually new beginnings, this one takes a much deeper effect and makes it quite clear. When it comes to finding harmony in your truest form, this new moon will benefit you greatly. It will help you to better understand your relationships and push you to open your mind. We will all become better versions of ourselves thanks to this new moon and the energies that follow it. That's from AwarenessAct.com. And today from Gaia Portal, the code for all love workers and star seeds. Strength of inner spirit connections are currently under test. Eliminations of tenuous connects are accelerated. Far sites are recognized for assists to humanity. Finalizers are called forth. Archangels watch over the process. And from Elizabeth Peru, what a super special weekend this is. Following on from a week that cosmically blessed us with major life movements, including those on a global scale, over the coming 12 hours, it's the final super new moon and the third in a row of 2019. We can do, we can and do influence all energy, so use your loving intentions wisely this weekend. There are also geomagnetic storms currently buffeting Earth, incoming from a huge hole in the sun's atmosphere, so be aware of these energies coming in. That's from ElizabethPeru.com. Today we also had a 6.8 earthquake out right off of um, the coast of Chile in South America. Now Chile can be symbolized as the crown of Gaia, of the Kundalini of Earth. So this is very symbolic of the crown opening, the vibrations in the crown. So many people, uh, the last couple days, today and for the next couple days, may feel this crown opening may feel like a pulsing on the top of the head, may feel a tingling, an energy, a vibration, a pulse, an expansion of the up, what we call upper dantian, a resonance of the crystal palace in the center of the brain. In Taoism, we say the crystal palace, or you may say the crystal cave, where the sacred glands, the pineal and the pituitary pulsate in this sacred temple, the sacred castle. Crystal Palace. From the Dream Spell Journey by Volom Votan and Balonik, welcome Wave Spell 7 of the Blue Storm. Unify in order to catalyze attracting energy, power of self generation. 13 days from 29 September until 11 October 2019, as we transition from these portals into the 1010 portal, the 1111 portal, the 1212 portal, into the 12. 21, the final solstice, sun, stillness of the old false 3D matrix as we transition into the new earth, as we manifest from the heart center. Now the blue storm wave spell is the seventh wave spell of the dream spell journey and the third wave spell of the white northern castle of crossing. The sign of storm comes from the original Mayan glyph of Kawak, which signifies storm, divine ray, thunder and rains. This glyph is part of the Maya myth of creation, which is represented by three turtles carrying the sign of Kawak on their shells. Exactly before life emerged on earth, our planet was under heavy rains which formed the oceans. Thus the storm represents the necessary transformation that occurs before the new creation. It symbolizes the change of paradigm towards the evolution of consciousness. And the new creation is what we are calling New Earth, New Eden, New Jerusalem, goes by many names, heaven on earth. The blue storm wave spell also contains the power of number 19 because it is the wave spell of seal 19, blue storm. Number 19 represents the metonic cycle of 19 years, also refers to the Maya code of 0 19 being number 19, the higher number, that can be represented with bars and dots. Three bars and four dots equals 19. 
Jose Arwellas studied the 19 code in Maya, Maya calendrics and the Holy Quran. Above all is 19. He established its connection to the number 260 of the Zolkin sequence. That is 19 equal 260. At a later time, the revelation of the 1919 crystal matrix established that number 19 represents the activation code of the crystal prophecy. The double terminated crystal contains 18 facets plus the mystical center of the crystal. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 1 equal 19. Number 19 also encodes the total number of circles of the flower of life. Equally relevant, the passage 19 of Pakal's pyramid inscriptions records the ascensions of King Pakal and Queen Zakbu of Palenque, the prophetic twin archetypes of the ancient Maya real time. The wave spell of seal 19 transcends with kin 91, which is 19 inverted, therefore the alpha and omega of this wave spell contains the double 19, equaling 1919. The bearer of this wave spell, 79, Magnetic Storm, marked the publication of the Art Planet Chronicles by Jose Arwellas via the Planet Art Network in 1996. This was also the wave spell and purpose of the ascension of Her Jose Arwellas, Volom Votan, who passed away on Kin 89, 11 Moon. Today is the last synchronization between Kin 79 and the ancestral Maya sign of 7 Ben, which is equivalent to Kin 33, 7 Skywalker of Balum Votan and Balon Ek. Today, the Kin 79, Blue Magnetic Storm, from Christina Papa Giorgio, 29 September 2019. 2992019 equal 1193. Equaling 23, equaling 5. 11 is the portal gateway duality. 5, freedom, liberation, change. Kin 79 equals 16, 7, spirituality, solitude, magic. Here come the thunder beings. Another very, very powerful day. Triple storm energy. Looks like a gale is on its way. Wake up. Today we commence a new 13th cycle. It is day one in the blue storm wave spell of purification, cleansing, transformation, and evolution. Today we are focused on magnetizing and attracting tremendous energy to catalyze transformation on a personal, collective, and global level. The world bridger enabled us to release and let go of the old matrix. Witnessing the death of the old cycle and old earth, we are now free and have created space for the new to enter our lives and change our reality. Hold on to your red shoes, Dorothy, the storm is here and we are no longer in Kansas. Conscious self and higher self guide, Blue Storm. Koak is the change agent, Blue Storm is continuing the purification and cleansing process through upheaval and purging the dross. For the masses that have not awakened, they will be challenged in order to evolve. Koak will forcibly clear any stagnation and push anything in its path with tremendous force, even for the unwilling. You cannot negotiate with a tornado. You prepare and batten down the hatches or run for the hills. The Matrix has programmed humans to fear change and thus we drag our feet and resist it at all costs. However, there comes a time when spirit says enough is enough, now is the time. So as they say in the movies, you either go willingly or they will bring out the handcuffs we all need to fearlessly embrace change as a grand new adventure leading us to new untold pleasures and excitement the pioneering spirit is one we all need to embrace during this evolutionary ascension phase we are currently transversing blue storm is the most power filled and energized of the 20 tribes solar seals and the dream spell affording a great well of powerful energy to be catalyzed and transformed for renewed purpose all this extra energy that has been freed up through letting go can now be funneled into new projects and ideas designed to afford great planetary change and transform the lives of Earth citizens. The tone of creation, magnetic, is tone number one in the spiritual realm as we initiate a wave spell cycle. Power attracts action, unifies essence, purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with the magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one. From out of nothing, here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. 
Once strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your goals. People, resources, relationship, money, support, and all that you can imagine. The attraction seeks to unify all as one. Thus, magnetic kin have a very strong connection to source and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. The power of one is very strong today as it unites all as one humanity. And from the Zolkin times, the blue magnetic storm, magnetic is the name for the number one and its key words are attract, unify, and purpose. The first day of the wave spell sets the agenda for the 13-day journey. Set your goals, identify your purpose, and consciously enter this wave spell. The best way to get the most out of it. Today is Blue Storm re represents catalyzed energy and self-generation. This is a real humdinger of a wave spell, and for those who don't like change, they dread when it comes around. Personally, I like it if embraced with courage. This wave spell has potential to change your life. Ride the storm's energy rather than be swept away by it. It can be like a fairground ride during an earthquake, but some people actually enjoy the thrill. The guide is Blue Storm as well, and therefore the storm is guided by itself. The challenge is the Red Moon, which represents go with the flow energy. However, there is no relaxing during these 13 days, and if you are a Red Moon, maybe you sh should find a storm shelter. Life is full of changes. The occult power is the white wind, the communicator of the Zolkin, and when this magical position, expect magical messages to find you. This will help immensely with dealing with the stormy weather. The ally is the yellow sun, and if you need a friend and you know a yellow sun, ask them for help. If you are yellow sun, be prepared to receive calls from friends who may be pulling out their hair. The mantra today for Kin 79 blue magnetic storm i unify in order to catalyze attracting energy i seal the matrix of self-generation with a magnetic tone of purpose i am guided by my own power doubled aho so thank you for joining me today on another auspicious day of this dream spell journey that we are on together brothers and sisters of the light i'm going to tell you a quick story about another synchronicity of the manifestation of new earth and the connection with all light workers star seeds love workers as some of you may know i've been moving my business all month of september and one great synchronicity right across the hall from where i've moved is a divine goddess she is a reiki master and psychic we met the other day and had a connection and then a synchronicity and with those that have been following this channel you've been hearing me talk about the divine 44 which is our soul family they are the team that i am working with of powerful love workers star seeds light workers they are some of the most powerful beings that i have taught worked with journeyed with in many many years of practice and teaching of the buddhist taoist shamanic arts alchemy the alchemical arts on this rainbow body path it has been a great honor and pleasure of mine to connect with these powerful beautiful precious angels of light and as this power with each of the divine 44 that i connect with as the codes are transmitted and we're transmitting the 444 just came through with each of these beloved beings that i've connected with the power within myself and within the group dynamic our soul family is building power is growing expanding multiplying accelerating and the gifts that are coming through this are beyond imagination we will be transmitting these the gifts the highest codes the highest light the highest frequencies to all of you very shortly very soon around the 1010 portal is what my vision saying so back to the synchronicity across the hall from the new place that i've moved my business is a divine goddess a sacred feminine and she is very psychic and a very strong healer we spoke for about an hour a few days ago and one of the synchronicities some of the arts that i teach in the taoist ancient traditions are the practice of the five elements 
So the Divine 44, I'm transmitting the knowledge and the transmissions of the Kunlun energies, the Kunlun path of my Sifu, of his lineage. And part of this ancient tradition of the Taoist arts is the practice of the five elements. So we call the divine elements. And her, ha her business of this Reiki master and healer, psychic, his divine element spa. <laughs> and of course, she's in suite number four of the 44 synchronicity to complete the 444. And when we spoke several days ago about the, these energies coming in, she had a very, very powerful vision January earlier this year of 2020 being the catalyst for the shift for the event. She called it different names. But when I explained to her the, this ascension process that I talk about and teach about in the new earth, she was in, in agreement that, with her vision. And she saw this major shift happening and communicated with the higher realms, the creator source, and showed her in 2020 being the catalyst for this golden age for this new earth. And I spoke about the symbolism of 2020 and the perfect vision, 2020 symbolizing in this realm, perfect sight, perfect vision, that it really resonated and uh, she had a deep synchronicity and connection with that. And she saw the beauty and the transformation of all life in this realm, such as I do myself and all the love workers that I've connected with through the Divine 44. We are all seeing that no one is being left behind in this ascension. We are all here together as in unity consciousness to assist all beings in all realms, all timelines, all dimensions. And this is for all life, all beings to be, to be raised up to 5D and beyond into the eternal source, which we are merging to manifest into this realm to break all timelines all prisons, all contracts, all karmic ties to release all beings from this cycle of birth and death, this repetition cycle, this time loop of from emptiness form back into emptiness into form to where we transition to eternal bliss consciousness for all life, all consciousness, all awareness. As we merge that pure awareness with this duality universe to tap into our full potential our magnetic potential and our full power to be fully activated all codes being activated the 12 strand dna activated and the code of 144 fully activated here now in this body so feel it in your heart center beautiful being of light you know the truth i don't have to speak words beyond just feel your way into it Feel your way into the truth. Feel your way into the love that is the center of your being, that you are transmitting out into the field, into the collective for all of humanity. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Yesterday I was connected with the Divine 44, Divine Feminine Goddess in on the West Coast of the United States in California, and Divine Beloved Goddess of Light in beautiful Sweden, the precious angels are gathering, and we are rising up, beloved beings of light. So rise up, rise up, rise up, shine your beautiful light brightly into the night. Nothing is stopping us. Nothing is pre preventing us from this final mission. I come directly from source to transmit to you, to let you know that you are loved beyond anything you can even imagine, and you are on mission, you are fully activated. So transmit your light, your love, your truth into this world using your voice, using your mind, using your awareness in your heart center and connect with all beings in all realms because we are true human beings living directly from our heart, being connected to all things. I love you all, beloved beings of light. Namaste.